Hello everybody, this is Vuk Steich. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Salesforce Flows to set up round robin lead record assignment. Let's get started. There are three simple steps that you will need to follow to make this work. Step one, you're going to create two custom fields on the user object. Step two, you're going to build a record triggered flow on the lead object to handle the round robin assignment. And step three, you're going to create a user record triggered flow to reset the assignment counter when a new member is added to the round robin assignment group. In step one, you're going to create two fields as I said. One is going to be a number field that's going to count the number of assigned leads for each user. And then you're going to set up a checkbox that's going to say, yes, this user should be included in the round robin assignment. And the cool thing about doing it this way with the checkbox on the user record is that you will be able to continually scale this system or this round robin assignment process without needing to create additional um, resources like you would whenever you were using the traditional lead assignment rule method that Salesforce has documented. For the first field, the number of assigned leads, again, this is very simple. This field is going to have the number data type. Make sure you set the default value to zero. Although for any existing users, you're likely going to have to go in there and type zero uh, manually for each of them that are to be included in the round robin assignment. Any length here is fine and you won't be needing decimals. For the checkbox, again, the only thing here is make sure that the default value is unchecked. That's because you don't want everybody that you create as a user going forward being included in the round robin assignment. But do make sure that you tick true on the users that you do want to be a part of the round robin assignment. Now, let's build the actual flow that's going to handle the round robin assignment for us. This is going to be a record triggered flow as I had mentioned at the top. And simply put, you're going to be starting this only whenever a lead record is created. As you can see, I've used just one entry criteria here. This is the you know lead source is equal to web. However, for you, the criteria for entry can be determined by the business requirements that you have, okay? So, so whatever you want the requirements to be, that should be how you set up your entry conditions for this flow. The first thing we want this flow to do is to find the user that we're going to assign this lead record to. What we're going to do is we're going to filter this get records object that's looking for a user by that include in round robin checkbox that we had actually um, just created, okay? We're only going to store the first record because we're looking in the ascending order, meaning we want it to find a user with the smallest number of assigned leads. And of course, we want it to automatically store all of the fields that are part of that user, but that's you know neither here nor there. We can just leave that as it, as it comes in. Then the flow is going to have an update records action, which is going to update the lead record that triggered the flow. There will be no additional filtering conditions on this update records action. And all it's going to do is it's going to set the leads owner ID to the user ID from the find user get records action that we just had take place the step above. And then finally, the update user count update records action is going to update the user record of the user that we found in our find user get records action. And it's going to assign a new value to the number of assigned leads. Effectively, all it's going to do is it's going to add one to that. The way that we have to do that though, is using a formula. So if you look at this formula, you can see that all it does is it takes the current number of number of assigned leads on the user that we found and adds one. And that's it. That's all this flow is doing. The lead is created. It finds the user with the least amount of assigned leads. It assigns the owner of that lead to that user. And then it adds plus one to that user's count of how many leads they've been assigned. And finally, we have to build the counter reset flow. This is a very simple user record triggered flow. The entry conditions for this flow are going to be very strict. The only time it's going to run is when a user record is modified so that it's include in round robin checkbox is changed and it's changed to equal true. Whenever that condition is met, the reset number counter update records action is going to find all users 
that have the include in round robin checkbox set to true. And for all of those users, it's going to reassign the number of assigned leads field to zero. We want to do this so that if a new user is added to this round robin assignment, it's not only them that are going to be assigned leads until their number of assigned leads catches up to all of the other users. This means that everybody is back to zero, meaning everyone is going to be getting leads, even though a new user is added. You can see why this is so powerful. Now, any user that you want to add to the round robin assignment, all you do is check a box on their user record and they're in there equally on the same footing as everybody. So let's cover those three steps again. You're going to create the user object fields. There's two of them. You're going to build that round robin assignment flow, and then you're going to build the counter reset flow. Everything is covered in this video. Of course, if you want to get creative with it a little bit, I'm sure there's ways that you can improve this or modify this to work to your liking. More importantly, you can make it scale even further if you require other round robin lead or other record assignment. All you would have to do is repeat the configuration with additional fields on the user object and either additional flows or flows that are filtered in slightly separate ways with different paths. And this way, the same users can actually be a part of various round robin assignments, whether it's multiple round robin assignments on the lead record or other objects. Good luck. Thanks for watching. You can feel free to connect with me or contact me. Here's my LinkedIn and have a great day.